The health matters for decades, the nation's health sector has faced numerous challenges, including poor health care facilities, brain drain, frequent strike by health care workers, and inadequate financing. As a result, many Nigerians have resorted to seeking medical treatment abroad. To address this issue, the Nigerian Medical Association's River State Chapter, in partnership with the Janu Ternary Specialist Hospital, is organizing a two-day free endoscopic surgery in Port Hackett for patients with kidney, bladder, and prostate problems. According to Dr. Charles Okmani, a urologist and the medical director of GU's Care Specialist Hospital, despite extensive studies and research, aging remains the most prominent reason for prostate enlargement in men. This is one of our collaborative care with a private sector to bring um, services very close to the people as part of our own social corporate, corporate social responsibility. So we are trying to partner with this hospital to make sure that people that had such disorders could have or access care free of charge and a way of giving back to society. Endoscopy because this is more or less an endoscopic hospital. Okay, the, the state of art um, facilities present in this facility is good for endoscopy. And that's the area we are trying to explore. This is meant to be a minimal access surgery hospital and try to show visibility to the world that these things can be done in our environment. That's why the NMA, Nigeria Medical Association, is endorsing this program, it's collaborating with the hospital, supporting the hospital to bring this to the fore. Last year, we did free dialysis. So this year, we decided to embark on giving free endoscopic surgeries to patients who have kidney stone problems, ureteric stones, and then posted enlargement to make sure that we can give free care to them um, and then alleviate the expensive cost that the procedure normally would have cost them. But we come down to about 10 patients that need different surgeries. Majority of them need stone surgery, so they have a stone in their kidney or their bladder. And the unique thing is that we are not doing open surgeries. We are trying to do endoscopic, which is far, far more expensive. But the beauty of it is that they get to go home in two or three days. So we are doing that. They also have some people who have enlarged prostates, which are also doing without any cuts through the internal, using cameras to do our surgeries and um, innovative technology. Now, two patients who had undergone kidney stone surgery expressed gratitude for receiving the procedure at no cost. Dr. Bani urged the public to be more proactive in seeking out health care services. So for having kidney stone, three for that matter, one in my left, one in the right, and one in the electorate. And uh, by the grace of God, they are probably taken out today. So I'm grateful, I'm thankful to the hospital, and I'm grateful to God Almighty for the successful operation. It's something I'm very, um, very grateful for because I, 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 I know the cost implications. Of, I mean, if it wasn't free, so for it to be free of charge, I mean, is is such a such such a blessing. We are pushing for um, a better health seeking behavior for our general populace. Um, some of these people that have stones. So the stones may have started very small. Maybe they had poor water drinking habits. They were not drinking enough water. We should drink at least three liters of water a day. And they were not drinking. Maybe they lived in a hot climate. Maybe they had a family um, stone formation in their family. So some of them could have come earlier and then not have situations where the stones are so big they're not causing them problems. So what we are pushing for is better health seeking behavior, um, better screening and all of that. And if you have a problem, always seek a specialist. To see private individuals coming out to give cutting edge service delivery is something we all should be proud of, and we are proud of it. So, as members of the Nigerian Medical Association, as members of the Medical Women's Association of Nigeria, we're here this morning as we kick off this program to show our support with what is happening. And so, today we are having lesser surgeries for kidney stones, we're having lesser. Lithotripsy in Pohakot, Nigeria. It's amazing.